Over the past five years, I've come to stand up to the negative baggage of so-called family and friends weighing me down. <laughs> it was actually a psychologist, another type of life coach, <laughs> who urged me to make the tough decision to get rid of those, these negative forces, regardless of whether they were coming from my mother, my best mate or a colleague. Mm. I've done so and now find myself with virtually no one in my life. Mm. <laughs> Although I feel less stress and negativity in my life, it's left me completely at a loss to understand where to next. Yeah. Well, firstly, I think the life coach that he, or psychologist that uh, recommended these particular things to this man, I think it is, um, did a good job with, with him, his recommendations. We always want to make sure that if people are attempting to pull us down, being negative in our lives and so forth, we do want to make sure that at some point in time we make it clear to those people that we're not going to put up with that kind of treatment because it is actually quite abusive type of treatment. So, so I feel the psychologist or the life coach gave him very, very good advice. But the only problem with most of these pieces of advice is that they don't focus on the soul at all. Mm -hmm. They focus on doing something rather than fixing something in the soul itself. And this is the problem that this man faces. When we fix something in the soul, things change in our life. And what will happen is when, when we start to remove uh, people who have been negative in our life away from our life, and we actually work through the soul-based emotions regarding that, what will happen is eventually those people will not be attracted to us at all anyway. Mm. So eventually so they get to the point where they don't, we don't even attract people who are negative into our lives anymore. Then we go through this period generally where we now don't really understand what to do <laughs> because we're yet to attract positive people yeah. into our life and we're yet to uh, take some kind of personal steps, again emotional, that we need to take in order to attract positive people into our lives. And this is what ha has happened to this man. So what's happened here is that, is that he has been, he, the recommendation to him to remove the negative people, which was a great recommendation, mm -hmm. he's followed through with action without actually releasing the emotions that caused the attraction to these people in the first place. Sure. Now, while you do that, you won't be attracting new people into your life and there will still be a tendency of those people who are negative coming into your life. It will just be different people who are negative coming into your life. And of course, you'll ask them to get out of your life as well. And so this net result will be that you'll end up with no people in your life mm -hmm. or very few people in your life. And that's an indication that you haven't done the soul work needed that needs to be done in, with regard to the people that you have removed from your life. So what I would recommend firstly is to, is to start looking at what emotions within this man would be, would be still causing the attraction to be that either no one or no one positive comes into his life. And these are usually based, these attractions, these soul-based attractions are all based around emotions and they're all based around emotions from our childhood. Mm -hmm. And, and so therefore they are things that he is going to have to work through with his mother and father, both, both, both genders, with regard to what, what kind of oppression he felt during his childhood, what, what before then was causing him to allow the oppression even as an adult by these people, and, and what feelings he has about those particular things. And what's happened is he has not truly felt about these things. If he truly feels about these things, what he will find happening is he will release from himself the emotions that cause the attraction. So he will no longer have to take the action anymore to prevent these kind of people from being in his life because they will automatically no longer be attracted to his life. Mm -hmm. And he will also then start attracting people who are more positive. Now, in terms of the group of emotions he needs to experience, well, that's, a, again, another discussion in itself because there are a large group of emotions that a person needs to go through and experience if they are in the place where they have removed negative people from their life but not attracted any positive people. And these kind of emotions generally are related to the negative people themselves mm -hmm. and what kind of things he feels about that. So there's feelings associated with loneliness, uh, hopelessness and other kinds of emotions. There's also feelings where there is this still internal allowance of negative behaviour towards oneself. So that's a lot about one's self-esteem and self-worth. 
and working through childhood uh, reasons why that uh, worth is low. And if he looks at the people he has removed, and I suggest with this man he's found that a lot of it has, has had to be family-based mm-hmm. problems. So he's removed some of these family-based influences that were negative. He'd be best to go back and visit these family places, not visit the people specifically, but go back emotionally and work through the feelings associated with these family members that are still present within him and allow himself to sensitise, be sent more sensitive to the emotions that are within him regarding these particular matters. If he does that, then what he will find is he will start attracting positive people into his life. At the moment, his soul is still uh, not attracting positive people into his life and that's an indication that there's still things he needs to work through from an emotional perspective. Mm -hmm. So even though he's done the right thing by taking actions, there's still more work to do before it becomes an emotional shift, a true but a soul-based shift in his life. And I feel that's what happens, that's the problem with taking actions a lot of the times is that we take actions which we know to be right Mm -hmm. but we don't address the emotions associated with it and unfortunately that means that very little improvement can actually occur. If we deal with the emotions, there will be large improvements that occur. So he'll be surrounded by very loving people once and people who want to do the same thing as he, he does once he addresses those particular issues. Okay, thank you.